think the definition of barbecue starts with a fire and a piece of meat. And at one point, I don't know what it's defined as now, but it was at one point Webster defined barbecue as the whole animal yes. cooking over hardwood coals. Right. Getting ready to make you a slider. <laughs> I'm gonna place that with the bottom down. This is your famous pork, right? So what makes it so special? It's the whole hog. And in our part of the country, that's what defines barbecue. Uh, Eastern North Carolina, historically, that's what barbecue was, with the whole animal cooked over hardwood coal. When we season this meat, essentially, it, there's nothing on the meat while it's cooked. Salt on the skin, but that's just to aid in parching it at the end. When we bring it in, chop it, when it gets to this consistency, we'll add a very light amount of salt, black pepper, apple cider vinegar, and hot salt. But I liken it more to a dressing than a barbecue sauce because it doesn't cover the meat up, it complements it. You take the sodium that's in that meat and the acidity applied with the vinegar and our coleslaw is a sweet coleslaw and it makes the balance. It almost makes me mad when somebody wants to order one without slaw on it. You're like, how about try before you knock it, you know? <laughs> and where I want it just like that. But it's my preference because that's the way I grew up eating it. And now that those hard lines in barbecue are getting blurred more and more because we're used to New York didn't have a barbecue identity. Uh, certain parts of the country was barbecue wasteland. Yeah. Now that barbecue has risen out of the culinary armpit, you don't have to be in a certain region of the country to make good barbecue. Your favorite of something is so tied to an experience that may be greater than the actual bite itself. When it comes to our style of barbecue, you need to pump the brakes because you get ready to be in for about a 15 hour ride. Uh, barbecue all over the country came from the poor. And brisket was a meat that rich people wouldn't eat. And poor people figured out how not to throw it away. That's where your stews and casseroles and all that came from was repurposing to keep from throwing something out. I always say barbecue is one of the few foods that still bridges demographics and class gap. I'm not being disrespectful, but it's something fine dining can't do because of the price point. Barbecue all over the country was the poor man's food. It was a cheap way to feed your family. Barbecue's not cheap anymore. Uh, it's a lot of money to do it correct, but still don't get so fancy with it that you prevent it from doing what it's done for decade after decade after decade. To do your heart and soul, make the best food you can make, and do it pure, but don't get too fancy with it. Stay true to what it needs to be. Exactly.